Hello and greetings to everyone. My name is Muhammad Fahmi bin Muhammad Zainal. My metric number is 17163319-2. So as of today, I would like to present the lab report video of the third experiment entitled Light Absorption Spectroscopy. So in this video, I will break into seven parts, which are as follows. Introduction, materials apparatus, experiment setup, how I obtain data, results, conclusion, what I've learned from this experiment. So, for introduction, this experiment aims to measure and to determine the absorbance and concentration of the absorbing sample and to study the relationship between the light intensity and concentration of the absorbing sample. This experiment requires the understanding of the light and its properties spectrophotometry and lastly the structure and properties of substances used to observe the light absorption. Besides, we should know the Beer-Lambert law where it relates the attenuation of light through a substances and the properties of substances. Next, for materials and apparatus, I use hard cardboard box, clear container, red food color, green food color, retractable knife, green pepper, red pepper, light meter apps, color meter apps. This experiment was set up as follows. I will explain to you on how I perform the data and the result consequently. First, a small round shape was cut out of the top hard cut box. Secondly, one side of the box was set open. The green paper was placed 10 cm from the box. Third, a clear container was placed inside the hole that I made. Another square hole at the side of the box is cut out so that the camera can be placed there for observation. The container was filled with 100 ml of water using syringe. The data needed was collected. Light meter X was used to find its lux exposure value and color meter X in the smartphone was used to find the red or green value. A 1 ml of red food color was mixed with the plain water and the data was collected again and repeated for 2 ml, 3 ml and 4 ml respectively. Then lastly, the experiment was repeated by just changing the red to green food color and the screen from green to red paper. As a result, for the system 1, the calibration that was done giving the R square value of 0.9908 which is good as it approximately equals to 1. The unknown concentration of red solution is 0.071 mole per decimeter cube. This is obtained by first the mole of solute over the total volume of solution is calculated. Then it's compared with the equation of the graph to find the value of x. The concentration of the solution given y the observance. Next, about the system 2 in which the screen is changed to red and the food color is changed from red to green. In this experiment, I use the r value instead of g value to be inserted into the formula of negative log 10 i over i naught as I synchronize it with the red pepper as the background. Based on the experiment, the higher the total volume of concentrated green food color added to the solution the lower the R value, thus the lower lux and the exposure value. What I've learned from this experiment is that the proportion of the light absorbed will depend on how many molecules it interacts with. Suppose we have caught a strongly colored food coloring. If it's in a reasonably concentrated solution, it will have a very high absorbance because there are lots of molecules to interact with the light. However, in an incredibly dilute solution, it may be very difficult to see that is colored at all. The absorbent is going to be very low. Secondly, the importance of the container shape. Suppose this time that we had a very dilute solution of the food coloring in the cube shaped container so that the light traveled one centimeter through it. The absorbent is not likely to be very high. On the other hand, suppose we pass the light through a tube 100 cm long, let's say, containing the same solution. More light would be absorbed because it interacts with more molecules. In conclusion, the result that I obtained for system 1 is the unknown concentration of red solution which is 0.071 mod des per decimeter with percentage difference of 0.92%. Then, for system 2, it's 0.0847 mod per decimeter with percentage difference of 0.82%. The result I've gotten is 
is that there is linear relationship between the concentration and the absorbance of the solution which enables the concentration of a solution to be calculated by measuring its absorbance thus this proof the beer lambert law and i can say that with the graph depicts the percentage error of lower than 5% which are 0.92 and 0.81% this experiment is successfully done